Здравейте, приятели! Аз съм Дан и днес съм в Динафос на 12 март с Даниел от Апичър и ще ви представим новата им серия Електросторм осветления, които утре на 13 март ще можете да дойдете тук и да разгледате. Видеото ще бъде на английски, за да можем да си поговорим с Даниел. Hi Daniel and uh, welcome here. Is this your first time in Bulgaria? Yes, Dan. Thank you very much for asking. Uh, this is the first time I'm in Bulgaria. What do we have here? What can everybody see tomorrow here in Dynafos? So they will be able to see the new line of products that Aperture has to offer for the more professional environment. Products such as the CS15, which is a 1585 LED RGBWW fixture and the XT26, which is a 2600 watt bicolor LED fixture that also has green and magenta correction. All right, great. Uh, can you tell me a bit more about the names? Because uh, it's the first time we see these naming schemes and uh, I'm getting a little bit confused with the names. Tell me a bit more. Sure. The CS15 stands for C for color, as you might remember for the Lightstorm 600C. The S stands for SSI, so that means this light will have a very high SSI, the highest on the market right now for a single source lighting. And the numbers after the CS15 stand for the output minus the zero zero. So 15 is 1585 in total. Yeah. And for the Electrostorm XT26, X for bicolor, T for tint as in green and magenta correction, and 26 for 2600 watts. I suppose we can use Sidus Link to control the lights? Yes, Sidus Link is one of the features that will allow you to control both lights, but you can also use it manually from the control boxes, but also more professional features like DMX, CRMX and Artnet SACN. What else can we control with these lights? Because there are a lot of new features that we see for the first time. One of the um, accessories that I've brought with me That is the motorized Fresnel, the F14 Fresnel, that will allow you to control the beam angle of the Fresnel through manual control on the side, through the control box, and of course also the previous mentioned control options. This is the Sidus Link with the CS15, and I can easily adjust the beam angle from 18 degrees till 50 degrees. And then of course I can do all the changes that I'd like And another accessory, that would be the motorized yoke that will allow to pan and tilt the lights so they can easily be adjusted without having to bring down the lights, set them back up again, but purely commanding them from your phone or through the control box or the more professional control systems. All right, great. What type of mount does the lights use? Uh, that's a very good question. They actually use two different mounts. One is the traditional bones mount, so a user could use the existing modifiers such as Light Dome 150 or Light Dome 3 Lantern 90. But there's a second ring that you'd see on the lamp heads, which is the aperture mount. The aperture mount is basically a beefier... Is this the cap for the mount? This is the cap for the mount, yeah. It's huge. It has to be bigger because it has to fit over two mounts one being the Bowens mount and the other one being the A mount. Also, you'll see five connector pins. Through those connector pins, power and data go from the control box to the light and further to the Fresnel or the modifiers that you see over here. So yeah, tell us a little bit about the accessories. We, we have quite a lot on the table here. Yeah, definitely. So um, we have the A mount protection cap. That means your light will not turn on if the protection cap is on. Other than that, we have two different reflectors, one being the wide, which is 50 degrees beam angle. We have the 20 degrees narrow reflector, and of course the included reflector of 35 degrees beam angle. Just here, I'm gonna try for the audience. Oh, actually, yeah, that's a world lighter than I expected, guys. So uh, it's huge, but it's really lightweight, which is incredible to know. All right, uh, sorry for interrupting. Uh, um, so other than the reflectors, there's also a barn door adapter, so you can use the light's open face, which is also included with the light. And then all these smaller bits you see here in the center, those are accessories for the Spotlight Max. The Spotlight Max is a Leco attachment designed for the Lightstorm 600 series, 1200, and of course the Electrostorms. With this projection mount, uh, which is a Bowens mount, 
you'll be able to modify the light upon your needs. So other than that, there's the iris, which I have over here. There's a rotatable gobo clip. Once you've inserted this into your Spotlight Max, you can easily rotate the gobo so it doesn't need adjustment with your I've bare readjusted hands. my lights so many times just because a slight rotation needs to happen. Exactly. And the gobo holder also takes glass, but also metal gobos in A and B size. That's great. Uh, How does it work uh, with uh, the different sizes? It already takes the um, A size gobos. If you insert the B size uh -huh. holder inside, then you can use the B sizes. Got it. Is that everything we have here? Do you think we, have, we can touch on anything else? Uh, well, not to forget, of course, the ballast of both lights. We have the ballast of the CS15 and the ballast of the XT26. The control box of an Electrostorm light has two built-in power supplies. When you're using only one power supply, that power supply is always stressed out to maximum capacity. Having two of them, that will allow that both power supplies are stressed halfway and also being able to power all that juice to a 15 meter cable all the way to your motorized Fresnel. Further on the controller, you'll also find the more professional ways to control them, such as CRMX, DMX, RNET, SACN. But other than that, the entire fixture, the ballast, the Fresnel, the motorized yoke, and the light are IP65. For the guys and girls that are shooting on uh, high speed, both lights are flicker free at any frame rate due to the pulse width modulation uh, dimming system that is built in the control boxes. All right, that's everything, right? Yeah. All right, great. Thank you for the walkthrough you made for us here. And I'll be happy to meet you again soon, the next time you come here in Bulgaria. Definitely, uh, this was the first time, but definitely not the last time that I'll be here. Thank you very much. And guys, приятели, както разбрахте, утре на 13 март може да дойдете тук в Dinafoss и да разгледате, да подсъкате малко осветленията и да си поиграете с тях. Не забравяйте да използвате промокод DASIUNS2024 за намаление в Dinafoss. Аз бях Дан, с мен беше Даниел от Апьючер. Вие бяхте моите пратели, моите хора, които милехте. Абонирайте се, хрест клипа, отред към банката и чао!